Have you ever woken up in the middle of the night, during the quiet hours between 3 o'clock and 5 o'clock a.m., and wondered what caused you to wake up? It could be worries, anxieties, or simply an interruption in your sleep. But did you know that, according to Stoic philosophy, that moment is not a mere coincidence but a priceless gift? Imagine it as an invitation from the universe an opportunity to connect deeply with your inner self in the rare stillness of the night. It is a time when all the noise of life fades away, leaving just you and your purest thoughts. If you know how to seize this moment, you will find that it not only helps you face your worries but also allows you to discover the hidden strength within, ready for a new day full of challenges. Let Stoic philosophy guide you through three simple yet meaningful actions helping you transform that moment of awakening into a powerful stepping stone to face life. As dawn breaks, you will find yourself ready, not only with a clear mind but also with a strong and determined heart. 1. Recall and pray about your dreams. Perhaps you have experienced the strange feeling of waking up in the middle of the night when everything around you is silent, yet your mind is bustling with images and emotions from fleeting dreams. This is a moment when reason and the subconscious intertwine, when the boundary between reality and the inner world becomes blurred. Instead of dismissing these dreams as a meaningless part of sleep, take a moment to pause, reflect, and understand the deeper messages they bring. In the dim light of the late night, dreams often reflect things we find hard to recognize in the daylight. Worries, hidden desires, and fears that we try to conceal. These are precious moments when the mind is unencumbered by reason or defenses, allowing our true thoughts to surface. But to grasp and understand these messages, we need a calm and conscious approach. Ask yourself, is this recent dream a reflection of something happening in your life? Is it trying to convey a lesson, a warning or advice? When we wake up between 3 o'clock and 5 o'clock a.m., it is not mere coincidence. According to Stoic philosophy, this is an opportunity, a call for us to connect with ourselves on a deeper level. It is in these moments that you can find answers that are hard to perceive during the day. Firstly, recalling dreams is not a natural action for everyone. Sometimes, we wake up with a vague feeling that we have dreamed something important, but cannot remember the details. This is when you need to be still and sit down to pray. Praying during this hour is not just empty words. It is an act aimed at a deep connection with the divine, like Jesus Christ, to seek guidance and wisdom in understanding the messages from the subconscious. Jesus once said, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. This is not just an invitation for everyday life, but also advice when we seek to understand our dreams. By praying, you are not only seeking comfort but also requesting enlightenment to better understand yourself and what you need to do to progress on your life path. In a world where everything happens quickly and pressures constantly weigh on the mind, recalling and reflecting on dreams may seem like a luxury. But ask yourself, have you ever felt that your life's decisions could be guided by something deeper, something beyond what you can see or feel during the day? Think about times when you dreamt of a deceased loved one or a situation that made you feel uneasy. It might be a reminder to seek forgiveness or correct past mistakes. Or perhaps you dreamed of running away from something, which could represent anxieties or fears you have yet to face in real life. In reality, many people have found valuable guidance from their dreams. For example, German scientist Friedrich August Kekulé discovered the molecular structure of benzene thanks to a dream. In the mid-19th century, the structure of benzene was a major mystery for scientists. Kekulé had studied the problem for years without finding a solution. Then, one night, he dreamed of a strange image. A snake biting its tail, forming a perfect circle. This image made him think of a circular structure for the benzene molecule, with carbon atoms linked together in a ring. Upon waking, Kakula immediately realized that this ring structure could be the answer to the difficulties he faced in decoding benzene's structure. 
This dream was not just a coincidence, but the result of Kukule's continuous thinking and subconscious focus on the problem over many years of research. Related thoughts and images accumulated in his subconscious, and when he fell asleep, these elements combined and manifested into a simple yet meaningful image. A solution his conscious mind might never have conceived. This shows that dreams can be a powerful tool that helps us connect with deeper parts of creative thinking, where ideas are not bound by logic or conscious limitations. Similarly, Mary Shelley, the English writer, found inspiration for her famous work Frankenstein through a dream. At 18, while on vacation with a group of friends, including her future husband Percy Bysshe Shelley and poet Lord Byron, they discussed ghost stories and decided to try writing their own scary tales. However, Mary could not come up with an idea that truly impressed her. That night, she dreamed of a mad scientist creating life from inanimate matter, only to see his creation turn into a terrifying monster. This dream became the foundation for the novel Frankenstein, a classic work of world literature. Shelley's dream was not merely fictional imagination. It reflected the deep concerns of the era about science, ethics, and the consequences of humans attempting to surpass natural limits. In the early 19th century, the Industrial Revolution brought many scientific and technological advances, while also raising major ethical questions and human responsibilities. Shelley's dream was a combination of her thoughts, concerns, and awareness of these issues, turning it into a powerful and meaningful story. It is not only famous people who have significant dreams. Each of us can have valuable dreams. For example, if you dream of getting lost in a forest, the feelings of confusion and fear may be a sign that you feel lost in real life. This could be a time for you to sit down, pray, and think about the path you're on and the goals you may have forgotten. Or if the dream shows you standing on a mountain peak, the feelings of joy and pride may reflect the successes and efforts you have achieved, reminding you that any difficulty can be overcome if you persevere. Dreams, no matter how strange or confusing they seem, carry a message. Don't rush to dismiss them. Pray for understanding and wisdom to know how to apply these messages to your daily life. As you practice reflecting and praying about your dreams, you will begin to see more clearly what your soul is searching for and what you truly need in life. Prayer is not just about repeating familiar words. It is an act of the heart, humility, and connection with the divine. When you offer prayers in the middle of the night, remember that you are not only seeking guidance for yourself, but also opening your heart to receive the good things that life can offer. Let the moments of waking up in the night be not just interruptions in sleep, but a doorway to a deeper understanding of yourself and life. Let dreams become a part of your spiritual journey, a part of the path you're walking. And when you pray, believe that you will receive illumination and strength to move forward, overcome all challenges, and achieve peace in your soul. Quiet your thoughts. When you wake up in the middle of the night, when all the surrounding sounds have settled and the world seems to be in a deep slumber, it is the moment when you are easily drawn into a whirlwind of thoughts. The worries of daily life often creep into your mind, making you think about what has happened, what could happen, and even things that have never happened. But take a moment to pause. This is also a wonderful time to practice one of the core principles of Stoic philosophy, the tranquility of thought. Tranquility of thought is not merely about emptying the mind, it is a process of bringing the mind to a state of balance and peace. Imagine your mind as a lake. When its surface is calm, you can see clearly to the bottom, and everything becomes clear and recognizable. But if the surface is disturbed by waves, everything becomes blurry and difficult to discern. In modern life, when work, family responsibilities, and social relationships weigh heavily, Maintaining a quiet mind is truly a challenge. However, it is in these quiet moments that we can find true clarity, where the mind is purified, helping us better understand ourselves and the world around us. Have you ever regretted hasty decisions driven by fleeting emotions? We tend to let emotions dictate our actions, 
leading to decisions we later wish we could change. Tranquility of thought helps us avoid these mistakes. When we can step back and observe a situation from an objective viewpoint, we gain the ability to make wiser decisions, free from the influence of temporary emotions. Take, for example, the life of Jesus Christ, a symbol of tranquility and inner peace. In moments of great challenge, from betrayal to facing death, he did not react with anger or panic. Instead, he maintained the tranquility of his soul, relying on faith and connection with God to find strength. In the Garden of Gethsemane, knowing what was to come, he prayed, My Father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. This was not only the act of a person with strong faith, but also a manifestation of a mind that had reached the highest level of tranquility, a tranquility that enabled him to embrace his fate with courage and peace. Stoic philosophy also teaches us that tranquility of thought is not about avoiding reality, but about facing it calmly and clearly. Epictetus, a famous Stoic philosopher, once said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This means that it is not what happens to us, that is important, but rather how we respond to those events. When we maintain tranquility in our thoughts, we can control our reactions to the world, keeping our minds stable and clear in every situation. When we talk about practicing tranquility of thought, this is not just about sitting still and trying to push away negative thoughts. It is a process that requires awareness and focus, helping us train our minds not to be swept away by the chaotic thoughts that often arise, especially in quiet hours like 3 a.m. Imagine you have just woken up in the night, surrounded by silence. In that moment, your mind is easily dominated by worries about work, relationships, or unresolved issues. That is when the silence can quickly turn into an inner storm of thoughts. Practicing tranquility of thought is a method to deal with these storms. When you sit up in the night, instead of letting your mind run wild with worries, try something simple. Take a deep breath. Deep breathing not only relaxes the body, but also serves as a bridge to bring you back to the present moment. As you focus on your breath, you begin to detach from chaotic thoughts. You no longer have to chase after those thoughts or try to control or judge them. Instead, you simply become an observer, letting those thoughts come and go like clouds in the sky. Why is this important? Because letting your mind drift along uncontrolled thoughts not only causes sleeplessness, but also increases stress and anxiety levels. The more you let your mind get caught up in worries, the more you feel out of control and insecure. But when you practice tranquility of thought, you learn not to get caught up in that whirlpool of worries, you begin to realize that thoughts are just thoughts. They are not reality. And when you no longer attach so tightly to them, you will feel lighter, no longer controlled by those thoughts. This process also helps develop a deeper awareness of yourself and the world around you. When you stop judging and simply observe your thoughts, you will start to recognize the negative thought patterns that you often repeat. You may notice that your worries often revolve around certain topics, such as work, finances, or relationships. Recognizing these thought patterns is the first step toward understanding more deeply about yourself, what you truly fear, what you truly care about, and what you need to change to live a more balanced life. So, how do you start? When you wake up at 3 a.m., sit up in a comfortable position. Keep your spine straight and your feet touching the ground. Close your eyes and begin to focus on your breath. Breathe in deeply, hold your breath for a few seconds, and then exhale slowly. When thoughts start to appear, and they certainly will, acknowledge them without judging or trying to push them away. Just observe them, let them pass like clouds, and then return to your breath. If practiced regularly, this will become a powerful skill that helps you face life with more calmness and confidence. You will find yourself no longer being swept away by negative thoughts or anxieties, but instead maintaining peace and clarity in every situation. This is the power of tranquility in thought, a power that can transform your life from the inside out. 
tranquility of thought also helps us connect more deeply with faith and spiritual values. In these quiet moments, we can listen to God's voice in our hearts, realizing that everything in life has a purpose and meaning. When we are tranquil, we can find God's guidance. As Jesus Christ said, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. This is a promise of deep peace, which only those who seek tranquility in their souls can truly feel. Imagine your life as a ship on the open sea. When the sea is rough, the ship is easily tossed and loses direction. But if the captain remains calm, he can steer the ship through the stormy waves. Tranquility in thought is like the captain's skill during a storm. When you maintain tranquility, you can steer your life through challenges without being overwhelmed by emotions or fears. Finally, remember that tranquility is not just a state of mind, but also a spiritual act. It is a commitment to yourself that no matter how difficult life becomes, you can still maintain peace in your soul. By practicing tranquility of thought, you are equipping yourself with the most powerful tools to face any challenges that life brings. Let tranquility become your inner strength, helping you find clarity, patience, and peace in every step of your life's journey. Next, let's move on to the third tip on the journey of discovering and unlocking our best potential. But before that, I have a question for you. Have you ever woken up early in the morning when the world is still immersed in silence and wondered how to start the new day with the best mindset? In Stoic philosophy, preparing your mind for a new day is not just a habit, but a meaningful act where every thought and every action contributes to making the day complete. Mentally prepare for the new day. When dawn has not yet broken, it is the perfect time to turn our souls toward inner peace. In a modern life full of stress and pressure, starting each day with a bit of quiet not only helps us regain balance, but also brings clarity for the long day ahead. From this tranquility, we find the strength to face whatever challenges life may bring. In those moments, take the time to pray and reflect on what you will do. When we place our trust in God's guidance, we find ourselves equipped with a powerful source of spiritual energy. Jesus once reminded us, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. When we focus on goodness, everything else naturally follows. What challenges might you face in this new day? Can you apply the principles of Stoic philosophy to handle them? Instead of worrying about unwanted things, prepare your mind to welcome them with a positive mindset. View difficulties as opportunities to train your soul so that every challenge becomes a valuable lesson. Indeed, not everything in life is within our control, and this is why preparing your mind by accepting what cannot be changed is crucial. Life can bring unexpected things, but the only thing we can control is how we react to them. Let your soul be as steady as a stone wall, accepting all changes without being shaken. However, Preparing your mind for the new day is not just about acceptance. It must also be built on love and gratitude. Jesus taught us, love your neighbor as yourself. When you wake up, think about your loved ones and important relationships and ask yourself, how can I show my love and gratitude today? Every new day is a precious gift. And when we are grateful for the small things in life, a warm cup of coffee, the morning sunlight, or the smile of a loved one. We feel deep joy and inner peace. We cannot help but mention Marcus Aurelius, one of the greatest emperors of Rome and a distinguished Stoic philosopher. Every morning, Marcus Aurelius took time to reflect on what he would face in the new day. He was fully aware that, as an emperor, he would encounter enemies, political difficulties, and numerous pressures. However, by mentally preparing for these things early on, he not only controlled his emotions but also ruled the Roman Empire with determination and clarity. In meditations, he wrote, When you wake up in the morning, tell yourself, the people I deal with today will be meddling, ungrateful, arrogant, dishonest, jealous, and surly. They are like this because they can't tell good from evil. 
more modern example is Oprah Winfrey, one of the most influential figures in media and a renowned philanthropist. Oprah has often shared that every morning, she begins her day with time set aside for silence and reflection. She usually spends 20 minutes each morning meditating, which helps her focus on the day's goals and maintain calm regardless of her busy schedule or the challenges she faces. Oprah once said, I believe that everything we have to face has a reason, and every day is an opportunity to improve. By preparing her mind from the start of the day, she created a solid foundation to continue her work with focus and gratitude. Another example comes from Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple and one of the greatest innovators of the 20th century. Steve Jobs had a habit of mentally preparing each morning by asking himself, if today were the last day of my life, would I want to do what I am about to do today? This question helped him focus on what was most important and eliminate what was unnecessary. This is also a stoic practice, reminding us to consider the brevity of life to live more fully and purposefully. Jobs once said, Remembering that you are going to die is the best way I know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. You are already naked. There is no reason not to follow your heart. This habit not only helped him achieve great success in his career, but also helped him maintain a balance between work and personal life. These examples are not just evidence of the power of mentally preparing each morning. They also show that in any field, starting a new day with the right mindset can bring success and inner peace. As Marcus Aurelius, Oprah Winfrey, and Steve Jobs have demonstrated, Taking time to prepare mentally each day is key to living a meaningful, steadfast, and successful life. Finally, preparing your mind for the new day is a meaningful journey. It is an act of connecting with peace, controlling your thoughts, accepting what cannot be changed, and spreading love and gratitude. When we do this, we are not only ready to face any challenge, but also live each day more fully with the strength and tranquility of the soul. Marcus Aurelius advised, Live each day as if it were your last. This is not a call to live hastily, but a reminder to cherish every moment and to prepare to embrace whatever life brings with the mindset of a stoic, steadfast, loving, and full of faith. Are you ready to start your day this way? Take a few minutes each morning to prepare your mind and you will see today become more special than ever. C-O-N-C-O-U-S-I-O-N When you wake up between 3 o'clock a.m. and 5 o'clock a.m., it is not a coincidence but a special opportunity to connect more deeply with yourself and the universe. This is the quietest time of the day when the world is asleep, and it's just you facing your soul. Take this moment to recall your dreams, pray, and listen to the messages from within. Calm your restless thoughts, find peace within yourself, and prepare for a new day with a strong mindset full of love and gratitude. Stoic philosophy teaches us that each day is a new opportunity to live according to our true values and purpose. When you wake up before the dawn breaks, remember that you can choose how to react to the world, to life, and to yourself. By following these three steps, you are not merely starting a new day, but preparing to live it to the fullest. The day you can be proud to look back on. Start that early morning with the mindset of a stoic philosopher, with faith and determination. Every day is a journey, and you deserve to live every moment with your whole heart, mind and soul. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button to support the channel. Leave a comment with your thoughts and share the video with friends and family to spread the positive values of Stoic philosophy together. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss upcoming videos about Stoic living and personal development. Click the notification bell to get updates as soon as we release a new video. We always have interesting and valuable content waiting for you. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next videos.